welcome to my channel distinctive crochet my name is Priscilla and I would like to thank all of my new subscribers for coming and checking me out and for all of my returning subscribers for coming and spending some time with me so today is April the 5th and um, I'm participating in VEDA which is video every day in April and I set up a challenge for myself to recreate a, a garment that I had done four years ago and so the um, top that I'm making is called the tie in top and it's from the um, this book here the Doris Chan convertible crochet and I'll show you a really quick picture so it's this top here the tie in top and um, so that I just wanted to go ahead and update you on my progress of the top so um, from my last video I showed you guys that I had the top ring done and then two uh, motifs added on to the body part somehow I don't know what happened but somehow I connected those two pieces wrong um I needed two of the hexagon shape ones and then one of the pentagon shaped ones and I was pretty sure I attached the hexagon one first because that was the order it needed to be in and for some reason it ended up in the middle of the project and then when I attack, went to attach the last hexagon that's when I noticed it of course right after I did all that work when I went to attach the last hexagon one there was two hexagons next to each other I'm like how did this happen so I don't know if somehow um, I had it laid out and then somehow I twisted it and then that's how it happened um, but guys when I took it apart I did the same thing again <laughs> I didn't have them all attached I just did the first one and somehow it ended up in the middle like I lifted it up and it was like in the middle again so I don't know what happened with that um, maybe I might be trying to rush it a little bit and that might be why I'm coming up with all these mistakes I was trying to get done um, over the weekend today Sunday so I was trying to get done over the weekend not happening um, I've also been catching up on my YouTube videos um, so I've been trying to like listen to the videos and um, work on this as well so I can do two things at one time not a good idea with this pattern so I'm trying to from now on I'm really gonna try to <laughs> try to uh, take my time and just make sure I'm doing it right the first time so I still have a little bit of time to work on it today so um, I'll have to pop in another picture if I can if I do get something done I know yesterday I didn't get anything done after that um, so if I get something done today then I'll go ahead and add a picture of it but I did get the first one done and I did get it on there correctly I think <laughs> so let me show you what that looks like okay so here alright so the ring is good guys that's not the part so this part right here um, I don't know what happened but it ended up here in the middle and it was you know it's supposed to be here on the edge and then the pentagon shape goes in the middle and then on this side there's another hexagon shape so um, it's there on the edge now and I'm hoping I got it right um, let's see yep because there's the shoulder there and so then that kind of forms like an edge so how that's like straight so I don't know I'm hoping I got it right this is a uh, an experienced pattern but I guess it's an experienced pattern that you need to um, take your time and pay attention to as well so I think that's that's really where it comes in at is um, just making sure you're taking your time and watching what you're doing so um, this is the other which one is this I think this is the other uh, the pentagon one so I already had that one done and then I had gotten I think I only showed you guys just a little tiny bit of this one here the hexagon so I finished that one and I, like I said I did attach it but I had to take it right back down again 
So I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys um, my progress for today while I could because um, this is my only opportunity right now. It's like in the middle of the day and this no, this is not the middle of the day. This is the evening time. <laughs> this is the, it's a uh, seven o'clock, seven o'clock. So um, this this day just went by so fast. I started off this morning. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't even know where the time went. Really, I gave my boys a haircut, but don't worry, guys. I've been cutting their hair since they were little. <laughs> So I, I know what I'm doing with their I'm not a professional, but I know how to cut their hair. So I had to cut their hair today. And then I had to do a whole bunch of other stuff. And then I had to um, edit my video so that it could go up today. This one is be a couple days, you know, later since I had those haul videos. But anyway, um, this day just went by. And I even missed my Sunday live with DOI with Jeanette, y'all. So... I was sad about that, but you know, stuff happens, life happens, you gotta take care of your business too. But anyway, guys, I just wanted to go ahead and pop on right fast and show you my progress. Like I said, if there's anything else I get done, I'll put in a picture. Okay, so for Veda Day 5, I was able to go ahead and reconnect the other two motifs I gotten done, and then I even started crocheting another motif for the back. And that's all I got done. I'll put in a picture. Hopefully, no more mistakes from now on. I'm going to try to do my best. Um, I hope I'm not disappointing anybody by making all these mistakes, but <laughs> um, I'm going to try my best to really get it together this time. So anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and continue working on this, and then I'll see you in the next one, guys. Hopefully, it'll be some good news. <laughs> All right, see you in the next one. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. All right, and thumbs up, guys. I'm going this time. Bye.